Okay, so some news from yesterday. Cleet Keller is facing three federal charges for the participation in the U.S. Capitol riot. In case you guys don't know who Cleet Keller is, Cleet Keller is a two-time Olympic gold medalist. He is no longer an Olympian. He retired. Um, he was part of some team, uh, some of the early days with Michael Phelps and those types of teams. So that's how he got his two gold medalist medals. But he was charged with obstruction of, of law enforcement, knowingly entering and remaining in a restricted area or building without law authority, and violently entry and disorderly conduct. And the video footage show, shows Keller maskless and wearing a Team USA jacket during the riots. And the source for this was ESPN. Um, so Nate, you start first. What do you think about uh, Cleet Keller being uh, charged with three federal charges? Look. I just want to talk to y'all for a minute because I took this when this happened last week or a couple weeks ago now, by now, I took this matter very personally. Uh, now, a lot of you older viewers probably know this, but if you're new here, I'm a man of color. All right. And I said, and me and when me and Mario were talking about it when it first happened, I said it. If it was black men, we wouldn't even made it to the steps of the United States Capitol. We would have been shot down. It would have been a massacre. This man right here gets to go in here maskless and... Causing, causing, like I went there. No, 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 not you, not you. I'm talking about this. Um, I, I was pointing the paper. Oh. My bad. Um, sorry. Uh, but yeah, he he goes in there, and maskless. Not only that, and then he starts to raid the building like it's nobody's business and all this. Like I take it very personally because, like I said, if it was my kind, we wouldn't have even made it inside. But I don't even think we would have made it to the steps. It would have been an utter massacre, and it would have been a part of history like this is. I expect this man to face char. I ex- I expect this man to face decades in prison. I'm I'm, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna be real with you. You you raided a federal building. You raided a building that isn't accessible to a citizen, to a civilian. You should be facing decades of, of prison. I'm being honest with you. No death threats. I'm not gonna do that. That's not no no death sentence or whatever. No, I think years of prison should do it. Simple as that. All right. First of, uh, first of all, I'm gonna be very careful with this issue because obviously it's messed up. It's it's a really messed up issue. I, there's another word I can use for it, but if we did, uh, Susan from YouTube would kind of censor us, so I ain't gonna use it. It's really messed up. Okay, what they did was absolutely 100% wrong, and nothing's being justified. Here's what I will say. Here's why this man will not be facing decades in prison. The amount of rioters that went into that bill and charged it, you're gonna overflow the uh, the prisons. Yeah, which right. is why he will not face decades of prison. Will he face some federal charges? Yeah, I can see probably because he's a celebrity, like six months at most. That's what I can see. Maybe a year. At most, that's what it's going to be. Now, it's very unfortunate unfortunate to see an Olympian, a U.S. Olympian, do such a un-American thing. That's right. what I'm saying. Now, going back to going back to what you said about how you're a person of color and they wouldn't have made it to the steps. I agree with you. I don't think they would. I don't think they would have. But it never. But that's not the situation that yeah, happened right. right there. So with that. So with that being said. Personally, I agree. If there was a if it was people of color, they would it would have been a lot worse. Right. Absolutely. It wouldn't have got there to that point. But what I will say is this to all the people out here, okay? Any rioters of all type, okay, with the rioters we have seen throughout this whole these whole times, okay? They it's it's messed up. I don't care what you're Absolutely. rioting for. It is messed up. I'm sorry. When it happened in the Black Lives Matter protest, even though I was I was uh, supporting Black Lives Matter, I was against it. Right. I'm against any rioting when in the, general. One of the greatest black heroes of all, African-American heroes of all time, Martin Luther King, stood for peace. And he got what he wanted by being peace, by being peaceful without a laying pacifist. off a finger. Exactly. Without laying a finger on nobody. Okay. Uh, and don't get me wrong. Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't. This is why I'm very, very careful and cautious with this topic. But the capital, but the capital riots, they were absolutely messed up. A lot of people should be facing jail time. And I told you this. I said the difference between the, the rioters in Minnesota and the rioters in Capitol Hill, mm-hmm. the Capitol Hill ones were stupid enough to get, to actually get caught. They were over here smiling and taking pictures, going yeah. in the film. The people who were rioting in Minnesota, a lot of them started looting buildings, but they were covering their faces so you wouldn't see who they are. Right. And they just ended up taking a lot of these rioters in Capitol Hill made sure their faces weren't seen, mm-hmm. especially the fact that the, the rioters in Minnesota had masks on and everything like that. So right. you really couldn't tell who was who. This one's completely different. They're no maskless. They're going into the place. They're over here taking stuff, stealing 
federal stuff, may I remind you, it's not just a pair of Jordan 11s that a, a, a looter stole. It's a pair of, it's it's the podium. It's going into into the place, putting your feet up on uh, Pelosi's desk. It's it's all this stuff that shouldn't be going on. And so, this is, in, in Capitol Riot, I hope something like this never, ever happens again, because this right. is messed up. I don't care what side it is. Okay, Republican, Democrat, Trump, but I don't care what side. Okay, this is messed up. Riots in general are messed up. This is not how, this is this is the this problem. is not what we're supposed to be doing. Exactly. Other countries are laughing at us, and I'm not here to be political or nothing like that. I can't. I don't, I don't like talking about politics Me either. at all. Here's, but these riot, honestly, these rioters, they're gonna they're gonna face charges. The reason why I don't think they're gonna face long term charges is because there's so many of them that you're just gonna overload the prisons, and that's not a good idea. Neither. Right. It's really not. But I hope that. In exchange for not experiencing long prison time, I hope there's other punishments that can replace that prison time that you would have spent in order to understand that what you did has consequences. So obviously, I don't see, I don't expect uh, Keller to be in prison for like a I, to be for like a decade, like you said. Even though maybe that's what he deserves. Absolutely, if it was just him, yeah, yeah, drop him in there, ten years in prison. You, yeah, obviously. But the problem with that is. There's so many rioters that day that just walked in there and just rioted and just completely were causing chaos. That there's so many of them, you really it, it's it's almost impossible to put all of them in prison. Will they face federal charges? Absolutely. Here's what I expect. I expect them to maybe I expect Kel over here to probably spend six months in prison at most, maybe a year. That's at most in prison. What I do expect though is for certain types of counts and certain types of charges. I expect certain punishments to kind of pile up on him so that it's almost like you will be followed with this for as long as you would have been placed in prison. Right. So for instance, like you said, suppose it was supposed suppose he goes to court, right? Mm-hmm. And they say exactly what you say, it's supposed to be a decade in prison. Right. But because they can't give that to him because you're just overflowing the prison, because then you'd be giving this man a decade, the other man a decade. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, like for instance, if you murdered somebody, right? Mm-hmm. Judge sentenced you to 25 years. Somebody commits that same murder, I expect them to get 25 years. Exactly. That's justice right there. Okay? That's justice. You you do a crime, you get punished for it. You do the same exact crime, you get the same amount of punishment. Simple as that. If you're proven guilty, that's what it is. Here's the thing with the swimmer. If you if he's supposed to get a decade in prison, right? Mm-hmm. I expect him to get punishes that will pile up on him for that decade. Right. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Whether it's fines, whether it's fees, whether it's community service, whatever it is, I expect him to have those types of punishments for as long as he would have been in prison. So he knows that what he did was messed up. And this is messed, and I'm more disappointed that this is an Olympian, yeah. a U.S. Olympian doing something that's so un-American. Now, going to the issue before I get off of it, look, obviously, obviously, this Trump, Trump supporters are not happy that Trump's out of office, Okay. But this is messed up. Yeah. This is wrong. This is messed up. And honestly, I am. Sh- when I saw that, I was ashamed. I was too. I was ashamed. I'm like, this is so. This is so laughable. All these riots, they're so laughable. All of them. Not all of them are so laughable. Look. Okay. You want to protest? Do it peacefully. That's all I gotta say. Okay. It's that, it's that simple. Yeah. And um. And, and I, I wanted to. And I actually attended one of the Black Lives Matter protests when it happened on in June and July. I didn't go to the restroom because I was afraid that there was something was going to happen. That's why I didn't go. And it shouldn't have to be like that. Right. Now, let me say this, all right? The reason why I'm such a passive, and the reason why me and Mario and a lot of other people out there are such passive, so let me ask you a question, all right? Yeah. When you do drugs, right? And, and, and I know this isn't, has anything to do with it, but it's very relatable to what I'm about to say. When you do drugs, right? Mm-hmm. Does it make you calm? Yes, it does. But what does it do? What, what do you sacrifice when you do drugs? You sacrifice giving uh you sacrifice uh not making all these problems you know why because you do drugs right you, you make yourself peaceful when in reality you're not it's the same exact thing what's going on here with these riots you think that raiding the capital and you think that raiding all these stores and these houses and all of that is going to solve your problems it's not it's only going to make even more problems just like how you take that pill and a lot of other problems rise. Like, for example, you're an addict now. Or you could OD. Like, see, you know what I mean? Like, see the, see the tie in that? See how it all ties up in one big bow? That's why, that's why I'm such a pacifist. Because, yeah, a lot of people say being, being peaceful doesn't get you anywhere. Well, not in this violence. It only creates even no, more problems. Here's the thing. You don't have to be. Here's the thing. You don't have to be. What's the best way I can describe it? 
you cannot be peaceful without being violent. Yeah, right. You know, Martin Luther King, he, he was such a great speaker. He was such a great speaker. He got so much done just by his voice. He got more done in his day, in a day where it was harder for black for African Americans and people of color to live. He got more done than we are doing today. Right. Absolutely. Seriously. I'm not lying. Like, like th- think about it. He had millions of people walk down the street and march down the damn thing. Okay? Did we have something like that? Absolutely. We did. When George Floyd got killed, we there was you seen a lot of people marching down the street, right? right? Yeah. Okay? We seen a lot of peaceful protests. But then guess what we also saw? You Burning saw buildings before that. But you know what? The peaceful protesters, I applaud you. If you're going to be peaceful and you're going to protest, do it right. Do it right. I have no problem with that. None. What I do have a problem with is these bur- buildings burning down. What I do have, if you're going to peacefully protest about Trump, fine. No problem with that. What I do have a problem with is you breaking into the Capitol building, which is one of the most exclusive buildings ever, and doing this type of thing. Yeah. Okay? Now, I know what people are going to say. They're going to say, the Capitol Hill building is a federal building, and it's, it's a U.S. government building. I absolutely agree. And you know what? For that, I do think they should be charged more. Yeah. Absolutely. I do. I, I do. Because it's a Capitol Hill building. It's a federal building. They should be charged. Without a doubt. Absolutely. Without a doubt. If it was a regular building, then I say them, then I'll then I say then I say this group and 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 the rioters in Minnesota, those kind of link together right there. If it's a regular building, but it's not. Right. It's a Capitol Hill building. With that being said, I'm not defending the rioters in Minnesota neither. That is messed up as well. Absolutely. Okay. You cannot be burning down ba- banks and damn all this type of businesses people who hard who fought for them for who are working hard-working people for those businesses i get it you're upset over what happened with george floyd so was i okay so is he everybody right. was upset nobody in, if, unless you unless you honestly here's the thing if unless you say if un, unless you are a plain racist that everybody in this world should have said what happened to him was messed up. Right. Unless you're a plain racist, okay? There's no need for a guy, a police officer, and I'm going to be honest, an asshole police officer like Derek Chauvin to put his knee on somebody's neck for eight minutes and 40 something seconds, okay? It's unnecessary. It, that's unnecessary. But rioting is not going to solve your, your problems. It's not. I'm sorry. Absolutely. It's really not. You burn down these buildings, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to be like, okay, we'll give you what you want. That's not how it works. It's not. We understand you're angry. You can also show that by peacefully protesting down those streets. Right. Okay. Martin Luther King got millions of people to protest down the mar- uh, down mark of Washington. The march on Washington. He got millions of people, all different types of nationalities and religions, to go march down those things. And he gave beautiful speeches. Right. Katie, I have a dream is one of the, I have a dream speech was one of the most memorable speeches of all time. That's the way you do stuff. You peacefully protest. Okay, Martin Luther King, guess what he also did? He met with presidents. Right. Lyndon B. Johnson, he talked, you know how many times he met with Lyndon B. Johnson to get stuff done? We don't do that. We don't meet with Congress. We don't meet with, with presidents. We don't do this stuff. All we're doing is burning down buildings with no call. And for what? Because it, it's not helping you. I'm sorry. The biggest, the biggest movement, the biggest part of Black Lives Matter was when they peacefully started moving. Right. Then that showed equality and unity and everybody started doing it together when people were burning down buildings i'm sorry but let me tell you something and especially to the looters because i'm gonna talk to you right now you stealing them jordan 11s how's that helping george floyd and his family you if you can tell me unless you're donating them jordan 11s to his family there's no need for you to why why are you stealing for your own personal good then you're not really a supporter of black lives matter no it's not even that you're not supporting the cause right because you're over here stealing these jordan 11s when they're for you you're stealing them for you. You're not stealing them to give them to George Floyd. You're yeah, stealing right. them for you. Okay? Do the right thing. If you have an issue with politics, protest peacefully. Do not riot. That's going for that's going for each that's going for each individual Both sides of the parties. Absolutely. And I'm but you know what? This is based on the Capitol Hill riot. Right. And we're going to talk about that and then we're going to end it with that. Capitol Hill guys, because that's a federal building, I believe they should be charged for. I absolutely agree. Then the people who were arrested for the riots in Minnesota, I believe they should be charged more because that is a federal building that is one of the most important buildings in the U.S. in the United States. It's almost like if it's almost like if um, somebody took a stat a regular statue, right, mm-hmm. and kind of like broke it down. But then somebody took the Statue of Liberty. I know it's unreal. I know it's not realistic, but if somebody took the Statue of Liberty and broke that down. You expect yeah. the people who took down the Statue of Liberty to get more? Yeah, right. To get more punishment. So with that being said, okay. For the Capitol Hill people, and we're going to go back to Keller because this is basically who it's on. You, This is, I, I am ashamed. I am. I am ashamed. I'm going to be honest with you, Nate. 
this is going to be probably the most harsh words I'm going to say on this show. I am ashamed that this guy is an Olympian. Yeah, I am too. But with that being said, you know what? Like, I mean, I hope you, I hope you all stay safe. You know what I mean? I hope that you guys are going to pro, I hope you guys protest absolutely peacefully and, and correctly. I understand that we, a lot of people are angry with a lot of different issues. I completely understand that. But you know what? I mean, pro, do, if you're going to protest, do it peacefully, please. Absolutely. And just be safe when you're doing it too.